hello welcome to my channel i'm patience and i'll be sharing with you five tips to help you successfully lose weight wait i know it is hard you know whenever we are losing you know trying to lose weight especially for people who are not as strong you know people who sometimes just people who who is hard for us and also people who love food cuz i love food i love to eat food <laughs> and food is good <laughs> food is good so and i love trying all type of food and every type of food so <laughs> it's really hard for me but um these tips has continuously helped me you know to lose weight i have lost weight 5 times and i have gained weight 5 times <laughs> have lost it and gained it and lost it and gained it and lost it and gained it so these tips i guarantee you if you follow these tips you will lose weight but don't be like me and gain it you know i do keep it off i have kept my baby and i have my son so i gained weight back and now i'm back at trying to lose weight again and while i'm trying to lose weight i wanted to you know share with y'all you know how y'all could lose weight and weight loss journey is going right now I, I'm 220 pounds I think I lost a few but last time I checked my weight I was 220 pounds I don't check my weight much because just looking at the scale makes it depressing because you feel like you're not losing weight and you feel like you're not losing weight fast enough so I don't step on the scale until I see clothes being baggy on me then i'll step on the scale but i usually i don't step on the scale so stay away from the, the scale that's one of my tips stay away from the scale that would be tip one stay away from the scale tip two would be invite god into your weight loss journey ask god for help ask him ask him get on your knees and tell god god i really can't not do this on my own i am not strong enough to do this on my own that I need your help to help me accomplish this. God will help you. If anything you ask God for and you have faith in God, he will help you accomplish it. And when you have God into your weight loss, you have foundation. You know, you have something to stumble on. You know, something to fall back on. Something to hold you and keep you grounded in what you are trying to do. So with anything, not even with weight loss, anything in life, Inviting God into it helps you feel grounded, help you be grounded in it. So that would be my second tip. Invite that would probably be my first tip, you know, the most important one. Invite God into your um weight loss journey. And my third tip, because I gave on um, my second one was so first, so let's do this. First, God, second, no scale, and third is make your food taste good make your food taste good i cannot stress enough on how important that is make your food taste good because it's just to me it's ridiculous very ridiculous to eat something and it doesn't taste good to you if it if it doesn't taste good to you how can you continue eating it like, if it does not taste good to you, you're going to eat it for a few days. I, rem I remember when I was 16, that's when I first did my first weight loss journey. I was 16. And I would watch a whole bunch of videos on how to successfully lose weight, what to eat, losing weight, you know, and all those things. And I used to watch videos and these people would give recipes and they would be like, oh, put a pinch of salt, put your pinch of this, a pinch of that. <laughs> and I'm like, what is a pinch? <laughs> what is a pinch and i'll follow the recipe to the tea and to me it would taste tasteless it doesn't fit my taste buds it would be nasty and i would eat it you know force it down my throat for it basically because i can't say i was enjoying it while it was going down my throat so i was forcing it down my throat forcing it down my throat you know and i would eat it for a couple of days but i think the fourth day I'll find something else. I'll go to McDonald's and give me a burger because I knew that tasted good. <laughs> and by, 
by that day i will be done with it the food will be sitting in the fridge the meal prep will be sitting in the fridge and i won't even touch it and it'll just be sitting there for no reason and until it gets spoiled and then i'll throw it away because it didn't taste good so my third tip would be make your food taste good make your food taste good don't think about a pinch of salt there are really really healthy seasonings out there that can make your food taste good so don't follow these things these um people that said put a pinch of this because what is a pinch what is that i don't believe in that season your food to the tea like season it really good that you're gonna want to eat it season your meat season your vegetables season it and make it taste good like me i like to season my food with sea salt paprika um old bay seasoning if you haven't heard of old bay seasoning you're missing out missing out some creole seasoning if you haven't um season your food with some creole seasoning you are missing out season your food please and if you will if you season your food your food will taste good and you will continually eat like that because you can look forward to eating your meal so i hope that made sense um to you and my fourth tip would be eat more vegetable eat more vegetables add more vegetable to your food when you never whenever you start losing weight you don't have to right away cut out everything right away go all strict if you can do that that's good but for some people like us i like to gradually do it i like to gradually you know do that and you can do that you can't eat healthy food just make a compare like pair up your food like pair up your food let's say um let's say for example i love roman noodles i love eating hot roman noodles i love eating me some korean noodles some kimchi noodles i love me some spicy noodles so with that i know that it's unhealthy you know for me to eat that and i know is it don't bring any good nutrition to me but i still love to eat it so so with that with that saying that i, I pair up my food i pair up my vegetable with some noodles i will whenever i make my noodles i will cut up some zucchini in my noodles like a whole thing of zucchini my noodles and i will while eating that i will eat my vegetable first pick out all my vegetable and eat it because it's good and then i'll eat my noodles and by the time i'm getting to my noodles after eating my my own um, my protein and by the time i get to my noodles i'm full but i don't feel bad about it because i was able to eat some vegetable in that I hope that make it that's that's make this is making sense to you so what i'm saying is pair up your vegetable eat more vegetable with your food put more vegetable with your food let's say i'm 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 in a i'm, I'm a southern person you know and we love arabians and right with some cornbread okay instead of eating rice you can put something else with that like quinoa instead of eating the cornbread Put some vegetable in there and like that you won't feel like you're missing out something you're missing out on something you are still able to eat good food so i hope this makes sense so i'll say eat more vegetable with your food pair more vegetable with your food wherever you eat if you if it's unhealthy for you pair it up with a vegetable and that would be my fourth point and my other my other tip is make your meal plan simple make your meal very simple buy a whole bunch of containers and meal prep a whole bunch of food very tedious making food and put it all in the fridge first for one point is my fridge is not big enough to put big enough to put all those containers in my fridge it is not big enough for that i don't have no room for that so i do not go ahead and meal prep every day of the week from breakfast to dinner like five stack containers in the fridge and stuff like that that just don't make sense to me so make your meal plan simple add a salad in um your meal pimp your salad to make it taste good and make your meal very simple very simple things like make your meal where it's something that you used to but instead of eating it with something unhealthy you substitute it with something more healthy i hope this is making sense to you meaning like don't cut out all your food that you eat like if you like to eat your baked chicken season your baked chicken really good and pair it up with some quinoa and some zucchini or some some 
Brussels sprouts or some broccoli. Like, just make your meal plan simple. Because if you make your meal plan simple, you're most likely to stick to it because who 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 like a headache who like thinking about what to what to um make and start oh i gotta do this and do that and do this and do that go shop for this shop for that no make your food and your meal plan simple where you can stick to it and be able to continue to eat like that for the rest of your life and my other point is um i'll say stay away from sugar stay away from sugar Sugar is no good for you, so stay away from sugar. Eat low carbohydrates food, like make your food low as possible. Like for me, let's say for my breakfast, I'll have carb on my breakfast. And for my lunch, I'll usually go for a salad because it's very simple and I'm a lazy person. So I'll go for a salad, but I won't put no direct carb on my salad. Like I won't put no cheese on. Mm. Oops. Ooh. Lord, excuse me. <laughs> I won't put nothing. I'm hungry. I haven't had my my lunch yet. So, but um, so um, like with me, I will have my salad, but it will be low carb, meaning I won't have nothing carbohydrate in it. Like I won't have no direct carb in my salad. And then for dinner, I'll introduce carb back in my salad in my food. So I'll go carb, no carb, carb. I hope this makes sense to you. And like that, I keep my meal and keep my way of eating in a day low carb. And then um, my last and final tip, and I think the most, the um, it's not the most important, but it's a good tip to change that can change your mindset is don't think of, um, don't think of eating what you want as a cheat day. Cause I see a lot, I see a lot of that out there where, Oh, a cheat meal or a cheat day or a cheat meal. Like, to me, I feel whenever I think of my food as that, like, let's say if I eat something unhealthy, whenever I think of my food like that, I feel like I have had a setback in eating. Like, I have had a setback in my weight loss journey. Like, I feel like I just feel setback. So, I don't think of um, eating a unhealthy meal as cheating or a cheat meal because. It's just not good for your mental health. It's not because whenever I do that, I feel like I have set back and I feel like the next day I have to strive harder and I have to eat less, you know, and eat more healthy. You know, I'm, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope this is making sense to you, but no more cheat days, no more cheat meals. You know, think of it as eating another meal. It's not, it might not be as healthy as the rest of the meals, but it's still a meal and it's still food. So don't think of it as a cheat day. Because if you do, I promise you, you're going to feel like you have had a setback in your weight loss journey. But yeah, that's it. I think those are my overall tips that I have learned and that I have gained throughout my years of losing weight since I was the age 16. So I guarantee you, if you follow these tips, you will be able to successfully lose weight and keep losing weight. I hope this makes sense and it was helpful for you. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos like that. I'll be sharing with you some meal plans and exercises and hopefully we can lose weight together. You know, we can keep each other encouraged and share, you know, other weight loss tip, you know, because I know my tips you might have a different experience and those tips can also be helpful so comment down below if you have other tips to follow right now i'm currently um losing weight i'm still i think i'm still in the 200s i'm still in the 200 but i'm gradually getting there i'm not really stressed about